2025 Ram 1500 first look review, fewer cylinders, more power. It's 2023, and even trucks are going electric. Not everyone loves this idea, but it's a reality, and fortunately, there are automakers that aspire to still provide phenomenal combustion-powered trucks while honing their electric pickups. So it is that the new Ram 1500 range includes an electric version alongside traditional ICE models that are so beloved in the USA, and for 2025, will offer on almost every front, more tech, more power, more screen real estate, and more luxury in the form of a plush new tungsten trim. But that doesn't mean the drive to being eco-friendly has fallen by the wayside, and the more power result for the new truck comes from an inline-six engine, while the gas-guzzling V8 has been done away with. Despite losing some cylinders, the 2025 Ram 1500 is still more truck than ever before. When is the 2025 Ram 1500 coming out? There is no official release date for the 2025 Ram 1500 yet, but the manufacturer has stated that it's scheduled to arrive at dealerships in the USA in the first quarter of 2024. 2025 Ram 1500 Price and Competition There is no word on the price of the 2025 Ram 1500 yet. We can use the current range as a guideline to estimate what the new one will cost, however. For 2024, the most basic model with 2 WD and the cheapest body configuration goes on sale for $38,570 before options and a $1,995 destination fee. Changes to the bigger cab and longer bed will increase the MSRP, as will switching out powertrains. The top spec limited for 2024 has a starting price of around $65,000. Considering all the improvements, added tech, and swathes of luxury in the new tungsten, we'd consider a $45,000 entry point to the range reasonable, while the new tungsten is likely to be priced below $75,000 before customization. As always, competition comes from Chevrolet and Ford, and the 2024 Ford F-150 is just marginally cheaper than the current Ram 1500. The Blue Oval's range topping F-150 closes in on the $75,000 mark. Chevrolet's Silverado 1500 rivals begin just under $37,000 for 2024, while the most expensive options start at around $70,000 before options. New Ram 1500 exterior and colors. The new Ram 1500 truck's exterior has been updated with a new, larger, forward-leaning grille. The enlarged grille makes the headlight clusters look even sleeker, and whereas the Ram badging used to be front and center on the nose, it has been sighted slightly higher up on the new models. This displays it more prominently and, in a strange way, balances the heavy gravity of the truck much better. The 2025 Ram 1500 lineup includes 8 trims, Tradesman, Bighorn slash Lone Star, Laramie, Rebel, Limited Longhorn, Limited, and Tungsten, and there are thus also 8 variations of the grille design. All new models also get premium LED headlamps, but from the limited models upward, the standard items are twin bifunctional projector lamps with an adaptive front lighting system. Along the side, the character line unifies the front fender, cab doors, and bed fenders, drawing the eye to the rear. At the back, the new tail lights have a jeweled appearance and feature LED lamps. The new range topping tungsten trim will get premium LED tail lights and bespoke badging, as well as model specific 22 inch wheels. We assume the base model's 18 inch wheel size as standard will carry over, although 20 inch and bigger wheels are likely to be available across the range. Staying at the rear, buyers can opt for a power tailgate with obstacle detection, which allows you to open the tailgate from your key fob. You can also choose the multifunction tailgate for even more utility, and, as before, the Ram box lockable storage for the load bed will be available. An onboard inverter for the 2025 Ram 1500 produces up to 2 kilowatts to power appliances and equipment on the go, and can be accessed via two covered outlets in the bed. As for exterior colors for the Ram 1500, the automaker says buyers can choose from diamond black, bright white, ivory white tricoat, Delmonico red, flame red, hydro blue, river rock, Baltic gray, and billet silver for 2025. Ram 1500 dimensions. Dimensions for the new Ram 1500 pickup truck won't be much different from the current model, although the front end boasts a new design. We expect any differences to be mainly in length, curb weight, and potentially height. Measurements also depend on the bed length, cab configuration slash body style chosen. Core measurements for 2024 include three wheelbase options, 140.5, 144.6, and 153.5 inches. Length can be as little as 228.9 inches or as much as 241.8 inches, while width is expected to be more consistent across the range, at around 82.1 inches. Height varies from 75.7 to just under 80 inches on current models, depending on the trim and slash or whether the air suspension is equipped. We are likely to see different curb weight figures, especially considering the giant V8 has been discarded in favor of six-cylinder engines. 2024 Ram 1500s have base curb weights of between 4,769 and 5,397 pounds, with heavier models coming fully loaded, in the largest body styles, with the heavy 4WD system equipped. Ram 1500 engine and performance. The biggest news for the new Ram 1500 range is about what powers it. Stellantis has a long-term plan to have its carbon footprint in the next seven years, and doing away with the 5.7-liter Hemi V8 is step one. Luckily, the lauded 3.6-liter Pentasta V6 engine gets a stay of execution alongside two all-new engine options for 2025, which are step two. The new engine family for the Ram 1500 is said to be more efficient as well as more powerful. Zero to 60 times have not been released yet. 
The base engine for the 2025 Ram 1500 is an all-new 3.0-liter six-cylinder hurricane mill that makes 420 horsepower and 469 lb-ft of torque. A high-output version of this engine is also added to the range, with the high-output straight-six turbo, SST, putting out 540 hp and 521 lb-ft. This engine will also headline the new Ram 1500 row performance truck, which we cover separately. In any state of tune, the new hurricane engine outperforms the old V8, with a minimum of 25 hp more from the new six-pot. Together with the pent we know and love, all three engine options are paired to a torque flight 8-speed automatic transmission, with either 2WD or 4WD on the menu for most trims. Historically, the Rebel is 4WD only, and this is likely to carry over. To get this kind of output from the Hurricane engine family, developers spent countless hours, and testing over thousands of miles, perfecting the new engine from the ground up. These engines feature a deep skirt cast aluminum block with an aluminum alloy oil pan and cross-bolted steel main bearing caps for the forged steel crankshaft and connecting rods. Two high-flow turbochargers, each assigned to three cylinders, and a liquid-cooled charge cooler augment the setup for the best possible performance. Other improvements to the Ram 1500 include a new high-torque rear axle on models with the high-output engine. An electronic limited slip differential can also be optioned on for those who want to enhance traction. The double wishbone front suspension and five-link solid rear axle can be supplemented with active air suspension to create five different modes, entry-slash-exit, aero, normal, off-road 1, and off-road 2. We expect ride quality to be better than ever in the new Ram 1500 range. Stellantis also quotes maximum towing figures of 11,580 pounds and a maximum payload of 2,300 pounds, which are slightly less than what the old V8 was able to manage. The Ram 1500 will also be able to ford water of up to 24 inches deep. Gas mileage. Fuel economy specs are still to be shared with the public, but Stellantis has made a big deal of the new Hurricane engines being much more frugal. The Pent Asta V6 earns EPA ratings of 20-25-22 mpg with 2WD and 19-24-21 mpg with 4WD, based on the latest 2024 figures. The new Hurricane engines are likely to be more efficient, but by how much remains to be seen. Whatever it may be, it will most assuredly improve on the 18-23-20 mpg that the outgoing V8 returned. The 23 and 26 gallon fuel tanks will most likely carry over to the new lineup, although whether the optional 33 gallon tank will be available remains to be seen. Ram 1500 Interior and Cargo More changes are made to the interior of the Ram 1500 to bring it more in line with contemporary expectations, and the addition of the tungsten trim opens the door for a fully luxurious pickup truck experience. Across the range, the updated interior showcases a focus on premium textures and materials and some new colors to uplift the Ram 1500 from just a basic workhorse. The liberal use of carbon fiber, metal, and leather attest to this. Not too much has been said yet about the seats in the Ram 1500, so we assume the models retain the same seating features and functions for 2025, with the tungsten being a noteworthy new addition. The top spec model will get 24-way power front seats with heating slash ventilation, memory settings, massage functions, power lumber, and 4-way powered headrests. It also gets a unique indigo slash sea salt interior with platinum patina slash semi-bright dual textured metal accents, a suede headliner, and premium quilted Natura Plus leather, in the first row. To hammer home the luxury brief, tungsten models also get a crystal effect shifter center cap. In terms of materials and color options for the rest of the range, diesel gray and black are standard on lower trims, the Rebel gets new red slash black ombre mesh on a combination of cloth and vinyl, while the Laramie has access to bison brown slash sea salt two-tone or black. The Limited also has access to an optional black slash ebony red interior package for the two-tone effect. New interior accent trims are added across the range and include such decorative elements as chevron film, Laramie, Barnwood 45 open pore veneer with saw cut effect, limited longhorn, and black ebony open pore veneer, limited. Stellantis proudly claims the Ram 1500 has the most screen real estate in the segment, which includes the optional 14.5 inch touch screen for the infotainment display, a segment first 10.25 inch front passenger screen, and a 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster. The infotainment screen has split screen capability and, alongside the driver's information cluster, uses tech that allows for a higher contrast ratio to enhance visibility. The standard infotainment screen is just a tad smaller at 12 inches, and in either configuration, it gets full-time dedicated buttons along the bottom and runs Uconnect 5 with advanced electrical architecture for rapid operating speeds. The front seat passenger screen is a cool new feature that allows them to co-pilot properly in terms of navigation, device management, entertainment, and viewing the external cameras. It's also only visible to them, so it doesn't distract the driver. It's not clear if this feature is standard on all trims or only toward the top end of the range, but we do know the tungsten gets the most as standard including a premium Klipsch reference premier audio system with 23 speakers and dual wireless chargers, the latter being an option lower down in the range. Further to the stunning new interior are additional features ranging from a digital rearview mirror and a full cover head-up display. The latter displays a host of driver assistance features during use, including lane departure warning, lane keep assist, adaptive cruise control, turn-based navigation, and speed limit information. It can also be customized to various driver profiles. New for 2025 is a push-button trailer steering knob. There is also available hands-free driving assist as well as active driving assist level 2 automated driving. Cargo space in a truck varies depending on bed sizes, and as with the current Ram 1500, buyers will be able to opt for a 5 foot 7 bed or a larger 6 feet 4 inches bed. 
This translates to a cargo volume of anywhere between 53.9 and 61.5 cubic feet. And for smaller items inside, you get dual cup holders in the front, a large center console bin, a fold-down armrest with cup holders in the rear, and large door pockets. After all, practicality is one of the reasons a truck like the Ram 1500 serves the family so well.